The Bioresource Processing Alliance is a Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment funded programme involving plant and food research, Scion, AgriSearch and Callaghan Innovation. It works with companies in the primary sector to find better uses for their biological waste and secondary streams. One company working with the BPA is the New Zealand Salmon Company. It's launched a new pet food brand to capture more value from the byproducts of its business. Well, our CEO recognised an opportunity where byproducts were not being utilised as well as they should have been. We take sustainability as a company very importantly. And that's just not what we do in our farming operations and our processing operations. It's what happens after byproduct leaves our site and goes on to further treatment. We recognise rendering is a good disposal method, but it's high energy consumption, high water consumption, and we don't see that as a long-term solution for our byproduct management. So the decision was made to set up a division that was going to solely look at our byproducts do some research and development on what we could do, how we could turn that product into value-added branded products. And essentially we've spent the last two years identifying what we could do with that product and then taking some of those projects through to fruition. There's a lot of funding available for companies out there and the Bioresource Processing Alliance in particular was uh, able to help us. They are looking for companies that want to turn by product into uh, uh, retail or you know, exportable uh, items and we ticked a lot of the boxes. They were able to help us with funding and we partnered with Mass University uh, through the veterinary uh, department there to, to ensure that the products that we were uh, making were uh, palatable and healthy for animals. So the Bioresource Processing Alliance played a big part in helping us connect the dots and getting us from concept to finished product. We went in with very wide open thoughts of what we were going to do. We did already sell a bit of product into pet food. We'd identified it and really the more we looked into it, we just realised that it's an exciting area to be in. There's a lot happening in that area. In the past we've discarded up to 600 tonnes of products that we identify as having value. Uh, when we say value, that's either nutritional value or a financial value. And that has gone for rendering previously. We've sold a very small part of that, but got nowhere near realising the potential of that product. So our objective now is to take that 600 tonne on current production volumes and utilise that either through our own products or to sell into industries. And from our division, that's focusing more on pet food and production. We very early on realised that we wanted to keep everything uh, in as best quality as we can. New Zealand King Salmon is a seafood company that produces food for humans. Uh, we wanted everything to remain in that fit for human grade consumption. So and previously it would have gone into an offal bin, been stored until a truck came and picked it up and took it away. Now we capture it at the time while it's still fit for human grade consumption, blast freeze it and hold it then until we need customer orders. So dealing with a premium product like King Salmon, you want to have the best possible quality, you want that quality then to pass on into your customers and the end users, whether that's cats, dogs or people. This is Omega Plus, our pet food range. The heads that we collect from downstairs in our processing operation, they're then used as the first or the primary input on all our range. The idea being to use the nutritional component of the salmon to manufacture and produce a really high quality pet food product that has all those health benefits with a diet high in omega-3. From concept to launch, there's a huge amount of work that goes on, not only the development of your brand and how that looks, but uh, packaging, uh, manufacturing, labelling, uh, toll manufacturing, there's a, there's a massive amount of work and it is uh, unfortunately a very expensive process. Um, but you know, if you do it right, uh, you can you know, do very, very well in the market. There's a big opening for it. Global pet food trends are moving into the premium space with the pet food trends following or leading human food trends and people picking up packets and turning around and reading ingredients to see what they're feeding their animals. You know, animals aren't uh, pets anymore, they're members of the family and want to be treated that way. This is our uh, King Salmon uh, oil, again made from uh, otherwise wasted materials. We capture that again at fit for human grade consumption and extract the oil with a partner we have here in Nelson. We bottle that and it's used as a fortifying additive to pet food. So you can take this 
add it to your pet's food and increase their omega-3 intake. That has the down the line effects of improved skin health and coats, joint mobility, intestinal uh, health, uh, brain maintenance and, and function. In New Zealand retail alone is around about the $380 million on scanned products through supermarkets, plus there's additional through online and specialty retail. Worldwide it's estimated to be somewhere in the vicinity of $80 billion, about $50 billion of that coming out of the States, but emerging markets through Asia are performing very, very strongly. The New Zealand King Salmon Company is in a period of growth. We have new farms that have recently gone into the Marlborough Sounds, which is going to take our production from approximately 6,000 metric tonnes of gilded and gutted weight to 11,000 tonnes over the next five years. And with that extra production, obviously, comes an increase in byproducts as well. So it was important that we started this project, you know, when the expanse is at its infancy and we can deal with the increased volume of byproducts that will be coming our way. So far, the feedback's been excellent. Uh, cats and dogs eat it, so that's uh, your number one uh, critics are uh, really liking it. Salmon's used a lot in pet food as a palatant uh, to help uh, make it more attractive to, to cats in particular who can be fussy. So having a high salmon component in that product has, been, has worked out really, really well. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.